Welcome back to another episode of What's New, Celine. I'm SCTN Station Manager Chase Stanton. We have some great upcoming events coming up this episode, so let's get started. If you hadn't heard, Winterfest is coming up soon here in Celine. Make your way downtown on Saturday, January 28th and take part in a huge variety of activities. From obstacle courses to cornhole, there's really something for the whole family. Just be sure to check in advance if any activity requires sign up beforehand. Plus, Celine Main Street is back with their Winterfest buttons. You can pick one up between 10 and 3 for a $5 donation. This gives you access to a ton of great Celine businesses downtown throughout the month of February. To find out more about the deals available with the buttons, or all the incredible events coming up at Winterfest, just head over to selenemainstreet.org. If you love listening to great music in an inviting atmosphere, then two of Celine's businesses have you covered. Both Brood Awakenings and Mangiamo Italian Grill host monthly concert series featuring both local and national artists. The first concert to de debut at Brood Awakenings this year will be Kind of Animal, a Detroit-based indie rock group. The concert will take place on January 21st from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Also taking place on the 21st is Mangiamo's Acoustic Roots, featuring Matt Watroba and Robert Jones. Starting at 8 p.m., the duo will play a variety of tunes focusing on the evolution of American music since the 1950s. You can learn more about both music series, as well as the businesses that host them, at the links below. Maybe you feel like doing a little dancing while you listen to music, and maybe adding in some good food, raffles, and a few cocktails wouldn't hurt. Then you should put the Foundation for Salinary Schools Snow Blast in your calendar. On February 4th, you can take part in the fun starting at 6 p.m. If you didn't know, the Foundation is a local nonprofit group which raises money to support our local schools. They provide dozens of teachers with classroom grants, as well as supporting a larger program for the schools each year. All money raised at Snowblast will go towards this year's funding. Information on Snowblast, the Foundation, and other events they host can be found at their website, supportfsas.org. Another great way to support the community is to attend the 6th Annual Empty Bowls Fundraiser on February 9th. At 5.30 p.m., come down to the high school to receive a delicious meal and a unique piece of art. Here's how it works. Students from every age group at Celine have been working hard at crafting beautiful bowls for the event. With the purchase of your ticket, you'll receive a bowl for of your choosing, as well as food cooked by our amazing culinary program. You'll also enjoy musical performances put on by SHS Vocal, the band, and the orchestra programs. Tickets are on sale now and can be found through the Celine's website listed below following the links. Has winter been getting you down? Well, you may be in luck. The Celine District Library will be hosting a unique event to beat away the blues. On February 8th at 6.30 p.m., you can take part in a drum circle with Lori Fithian, a local drum circle leader. The event is called Dramunity and is modeled to help uplift spirits and just to have a great time. The event is free, but registration is required. All the information you need on this event and all the other fun, enlightening programs that the library puts on can be found at their website, selenelibrary.org, or by calling 734-429-5450. We'll end with a series of programs that, although not, although not the most fun, are both educational and important to know about. Every month, Dawn Farm Support Group puts on a variety of informational programs designed to help people dealing with mental illness and addiction. The series brings in doctors and specialists who lift the stigma off these topics and raise awareness for how people living in these situations, as well as friends and family members, can cope. They're hosting no fewer than four in February alone. You can learn all about the work Dawn Farm does as well as the programs they provide by visiting their website at dawnfarm.org. Those are all the events we have for you this week. We'll end the show today with a recommendation to check out a recent video we've produced. 
On January 12th, Mayor Brian Morrow hosted his first coffee hour of the year at the Saline Senior Center. SCTN was on hand to record the whole event, so be sure to watch the video and learn all about the work that Mayor Morrow plans to do for the city over the year. You can find the video at our Vimeo page at the link below, along with all the other content we produce every week. And of course, you can visit us at sctn.org to find links to our Facebook and Twitter pages. Thanks for watching.